run it by you is a pain in the butt. Enough said. Getting all the boxes that are hidden behind the walls, you'll have 10 boxes before you hit the uh, timer box. Before you get on the jet board, we're going to go down this path on the right side, and it's actually going to take us to the yellow gem, which is hidden in this level above these boxes. And if you get it, if you miss the yellow gem like I just did, you can actually get it by slide jumping and then uh, ground pounding when you're at the very, there you go, just like that. Just like that. You'll have 39 boxes with the first checkpoint, and then we have to backtrack on the right side again, back to this wall. Um, this, the first time I came through it, I didn't know you could go on this little platform here. So I was actually slide jumping across the gap, which you can make, but it's very scary. So just take the, take the moving path, it's much safer. And then these boxes right here, make sure that you double jump before you get too close to the water, because you can't. I, I had a lot of trouble getting the double jumps right on this. This took me hours to do. Honestly, hours. And finishing that section, you'll end up with 55 boxes before you continue on. You will have 66 boxes at the uh, bonus path. And getting all the boxes in the bonus path brings you to 88 boxes. You will have 95 boxes with the second checkpoint and we're going to pause right here because on the far right side of the screen there's a barrel. Behind that barrel is an exclamation box. You need to hit that and then backtrack towards the screen where you just came from at the end of this pier. Uh, if you look far to the right side you're going to see some boxes have appeared. They're metal boxes so you don't need to break them. But you need to slide jump over there to get the hidden gem for this level. This is probably the, the most hidden one that I would say out of what we've seen so far. In the third section of the jet board uh, part of this level, the first jet board part, make sure that you get the box that is hidden in the back right corner from where you jump over. I missed that one time and only missed one box at the end and it was devastating.
just so you know at this section you can miss a box you can actually come back from this section unlike the other sections where you have a wall that's in the way And you will enter the next section with 127 boxes. This section was a huge pain for me. It took me a lot of tries to get this right. There are parts where you have to crouch under a wall near the front of the trolley. And then as soon as you get past the wall, you need to use your big jump to get a box that is way up high. Or jump on top of a box to get another box and then land back on the platform and crouch again before you get to the next wall or you'll get pushed off. It take, it. It took me hours of practice to get this right, so if it takes you a long time, don't get frustrated. If you die, just practice this section over and over again until you get it right to where you think you can get it the first time through, because it literally took me hours to do this. And then you gotta do it again for the inverted version of the level. So, pain in the butt, huge pain in the butt. You will have 216 boxes with the final checkpoint and then we get to the final section of this level. Not easy, but what you can do to make it a little bit easier, like you see in here, is you can thrust against the waterfall, like back towards it. It'll slow you down a whole lot. Makes it way easier to grab the boxes. And then once you've gotten past that section, the rest of the level is pretty easy. There's not really anything to miss, I don't think. Because uh, the boxes at the very end, you can just boost backwards and get those boxes. You don't need to uh, fight the waterfall for those. So this will be the last section of the level and then we're gonna go into the inverted version. Oh, and finally you will have 244 boxes before you hit the Nitro box. We are going to pause right here. When you take the path that leads to the yellow gem, if you stop on the first platform, you can jump onto the awning and then jump back towards the camera. You'll land on a balcony. The uh, hidden gem is, I think it's above that balcony, so you got to jump again. But that's where it is for the inverted version of this level.